The Lovely Bones is um, Peter Jackson's is a book that should have remained a book. That I can, you know, he the one the thing, what the one thing that Peter Jackson uh, did for this this book was go was make me want to um, <clears throat> tell people never to see this movie but to read the book because I'm sure the book like I mean it's almost as if someone I don't know it was almost as if someone like read the book to me but like it was really like badly read it to me does that make sense yeah yeah I, I agree okay and like I just I really I, I don't know because I like that I feel like you, I feel like you liked it more than me though probably and it didn't make my list of worst films well it's my worst film because it made me angry because it wasn't good and it should have been well it should have been good like that's the thing I can't so understand like, why I, like okay first off the guy that plays the rapist is an amazing. Stanley Tucci is like amazing. I, I saw agree. him in the other movie. I didn't know who he was Jill before. Julia. I know. I didn't want to say them all, but <laughs> like I didn't know who he was. And but after seeing him, Julian Julia, I was like, well, he's like, oh my god, what a crazy good actor, right? Yeah. And then I see this movie, and he's so good with the character because yeah, he's okay. So, yeah, he's the best part of that movie. I think that's he's why. He's so I don't creepy, hate it. but. Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> Mark Wahlberg is. I mean, he he wasn't even good enough that he couldn't even have played this role on Law and Order SVU. I mean, he was so bad. He was so flat and boring and one-dimensional. And he just like he just walked around all the time. Like his whole part of the movie was just walking around. Like what? Just who? Who? Things are happening around me, you know, and th and no, and I there's nothing he does. I think he came off a little oversensitive and. No, he just came off flat. He was you think just so. so he, he was almost like he didn't. It's just almost like he was, had like something mentally wrong with him. Like he just had no. <laughs> that's what he came off with. He came off as somebody with a mental disease to me. He came off to me like as I what, am Sam. he should have been Adam. Adam. <laughs> Anyways. So, he, I think he would have done a fantastic job. As I think I even said that when we were watching it, that there was something wrong with him. No, I said that in the Um, But anyways, and the thing is, is I liked the little girl, too. Like, I like, I hated what she had to go, when she went to the dream world, where it just reminds me of toys with Rob Williams, or like any Rob Williams movie where... Where dreams will come. Where dreams are happening. No, but it reminded me more of toys than it did of what dreams may come. It reminded me of, like they had like the old backdrop of toys and they just didn't know what to do with it. You know, they just made it bigger. Like they used the big old valley from, you know, the Lord of the Rings and they just threw all the shit from fucking... <laughs> Meet the feebles. <laughs> yeah. Basically, it was just horrible. So... And I just, and I think the thing is, is I really wanted to like it. I really wanted it to, it made me want to read the book because it made me so angry that it was such a shitty movie. And it's like, I, I can't believe that because I got the story and because I got what it was doing, like, I can't believe it was done so shitty. Like the Sandra, uh, what's her name, uh, Susan Sarandon character, right? Like, you got the purpose of why she was there, it's just... She, well, I don't, and she wasn't even like Susan Sarandon that you're used to seeing. Like she's not, wasn't even lovable. She's just a drunk, bitch. I didn't like it. I don't know. I'm sorry if I can't go on too much about why I didn't like it, but the problems with it that I found was. It I think was, it was the editing. A lot of the editing was just. The story just really like it was just a really disappointing story. You know, and I just was. I just don't expect to be disappointed when I see a Peter Jackson film. I guess that's what my problem. We recently was. watched two. We watched his old ones. You know, even Fantasy even Dead as, Alive. yeah, but even crappy ones. Like I'm not, I'm still not like horribly disappointed no. with. You know what I mean? Even yeah. like Meet the Feebles. You know, yeah. Well, I can understand why people wouldn't like Meet the Feebles, <laughs> but like I mean, I liked it because of my own reasons. But I just don't expect to be like this disappointed. This to be like. Why are you trying to be like some? It just seemed like he was just trying to do something he wasn't used to doing. And he's done it before, though, with um, Heavenly Creatures. I never saw it. 
and and they use uh, almost primitive special effects by today's means, but very. It looks very craftful. The imagination in that film it does tell a drama. About, Maybe about just, young girls. I know. And he nails it there. So that's it's another reason why it's disappointing. Like he should be comfortable with this material. It just seems like he didn't do what he could have done. Like I just found like there was a lot of scenes where I was just going like, okay, I, I like I get it. I understand. Why are you explaining this to me again after you just showed me this whole 